this thing. Well, <clears throat> in that case, the DA is probably going to challenge it, and we're going to need you in the courtroom to take the stand. Will you testify? Yes. Thank you. On one condition. Watts. Shall I repeat the question? A witness is instructed to answer. What did Jason threaten to reveal? What about your past is so horrible that he could hold it over you like that? Mrs. Watts! I was... I didn't have it was there were certain things in my past I didn't want to talk about Mrs. Watts this court has been patient but there's a limit I'm sorry it's just so hard I realize that but as Mr. Winthrop told you if you do not tell the court the nature of your brother's threat I'll have the jury disregard your testimony <laughs> you believe me but you testified about john hudson about his state of mind the night that your brother was killed now we need to know what did jason threaten to tell him about you I'm not going to give up. I'm facing reality. You're facing Dustin's demented reality. He has us locked in this room. The next time he comes in this door, he is going to kill us. Listen, there has got to be a way out. I can't stand this for you. Okay, okay, then let's not think about it. Think about other things. Think about something positive. I like what we have to live for. That's it? That's it? Now... Let's think about happy times. Come on. Okay, quick, 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 quick. I want you to tell me what's the happiest day in your life. Happiest day? Uh, the day I had Allie. Yeah? Well, tell me about it. It's kind of hard to describe. Oh, come on. I don't know anything about babies. Tell me everything. Okay, um... It was right after Sam was in the hospital with his accident. But he was wonderful. I was scared. And I was happy. And I wouldn't say it was easy. But I'll never forget Sam's face. Or the way Allie looked when he first came out. Sam couldn't stop smiling. Honey, what's wrong? What's wrong? Oh, I'm 
just realized that a mother should never be taken from her child. I'm gonna see them again. I think I know your condition. You want to feel protected, right? So this DA decides to prosecute you for something you did in your past. I wish I could promise you that, but I can't. If you take the stand, the DA has the right to ask you any questions she considers relevant including how you knew Felicia in the past, what you were doing at the party, the whole story. I'm sorry. You don't have to be sorry. If the DA thinks she has cause, she can have you ordered into custody. Cause? I'm sorry, um, if the DA thinks that there's evidence of a crime, then she can have you arrested. Look, if, if there's something that you want to tell me... That wasn't my condition. It wasn't? Now, I don't like the idea of being in front of all those people, everybody staring. But you said that you'd help Felicia. Yeah. Then I don't understand what your condition is. Before I do what you want, I want to see Fanny alone. Alone. Just us. Not her husband. Not your brother. Nobody else in the room. Even if I can get Felicia to agree to this, I'm not sure that I can get her husband or Cass to. She was scared to death after all those things you did to her. All right, look, I have an idea. What about if it was just me in the room with the two of you? And Cass or Mitch can be in the room next door. That way no one would worry. You still don't trust me. You've always kept your word with me. It's just that the others don't understand you the way that I do. So what do you say? Can I be in the room with the two of you? Look, I'll stay as far away from you as you like. I don't even have to hear the conversation going on. We'll be okay? Yeah. Good. And then after you speak to her, you will testify. Yes. That's terrific. Okay. So now all I have to do is get Felicia to agree, as well as Cass and Mitch. Order! We will have order in this court, please! God, Shirley. I'm so sorry. I never expected... I said I want order! If I have to, I'll clear this room! Josie, wait. You were there. You shouldn't be alone right Please now. Alone. Josie, I love you. I want to be with you. Come on, man. What's the matter with you? Get off of her. You don't off of her. Man, Josie, wait. What's the matter with you? Josie, wait. Mrs. Watts, would you like to take a short recess? No. Proceed, Mr. Winthrop. Questions are 
direct? Uh, yeah, just one brief question, if I may, Your Honor. Very brief. Mrs. Watts. Did John Hudson know about your past on the night in question, the night that Jason threatened to reveal it? No, he didn't know. No further questions. The witness is excused. This court stands adjourned until 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Yeah, and it worked. Boy, it definitely worked. John definitely has a motive now. Assuming Jason told John about Sean and his past. Whether he did or not, it doesn't matter. If the jury thinks that Jason might have told John, that's enough. Well, let's get out of here before the reporters start gathering. Better take the side exit. Do you think I could talk to Charlene? No, honey, you're not allowed to talk to any witnesses. Charlene, if, Charlene. for apologies to her counselor. You never would have thought that Charlene... Well, everyone knows now. Hey, man, you're not responsible for what Charlene was. Thanks for the words, Zach, but they don't help right now. But you might have helped your client. Your friend. It's just that... I like John and Charlene. They're good people. all over again, just like it did before. Winthrop? Winthrop! Who the hell do you think you are? Up you go, Madam Tooth! Told you just found out your mother is a hooker. And she needs help. I, I didn't know that. Nobody told me that. Hey, well, now you know it. All right, well, let's go get let's her. Go. Right, come on. Matthew, what's wrong? Listen, Mac, I have to get over to the frame farm. Josie was in the courtroom just now. Oh, no. She heard it all. Look, I'll tell my driver to drive you out there. I'll go with you. No, 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 no. I have my Jeep, and besides, I don't think she'll like a lot of people around. I'm not sure she's even going to want to talk to me. All right, call me if I can do anything. Okay, thanks. Mac, Les is still in there. I think we ought to offer him a ride. What's the matter? Matthew just ran out after Josie. Hmm? She was in there. Oh, no. Poor girl. Yes. A lot of damage done in there today. I don't know if it's ever going to be repaired. OK, now it's your turn. It was the happiest day of your life. Um, Jesus. That's OK. I doubled my money in one move. Really? Where you were on Wall Street? Yeah, see, we, we, we heard that this takeover was coming, but we didn't know it was going to happen. And when they announced it, the stock doubled, and wham! I had stock, I had stock options, I was loaded to the nines, it was great. How did you know? Well, there's a, a tape that you're reading, as it was going by, I... Just realized something. What? 
God, what's wrong? That wasn't the happiest day of my life. You sounded so sure. Well, it used to be, but I guess used to be don't count anymore. The best day was when just someone reached out to me. You've lived life the way I have. Uh, all you really think about is yourself. And then suddenly you meet somebody that is just so open and giving. And they take the time to care about you because you need help. What are you talking about? I'm talking about you. Do you remember when you came over to my apartment after Mega died? Remember the lady that raised me? That was a day. very special day to me. Because you were there and you cared about me. I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. I just want you to know how much that meant to me. strange man sometimes. <laughs> Am I? Sometimes. <laughs> well, it's nice to see you two lovebirds looking so chipper. I'm afraid it's time to go. gives you the right to ruin somebody's life. I'm tired. I have a lot to do before tomorrow. Oh, my heart bleeds. You think you had a hard day? How do you think my aunt feels uh, right now? Excuse me. Um... Uh, when I want your two cents, I'm going to ask for it, okay? Zach, you haven't had the pleasure of meeting Frankie Frame, have you? Miss Frame, this is one of my partners, Zach Edwards. I said, how do you think my aunt feels right now? A lawyer's responsibility is to defend his client. And I told you I'm talking to Winkle. Try and remember who called the witness to the stand in the first place, not Cass. From what I understand, you two were all over my Uncle Jason's back before he was shot. You were trying to ruin him. Now, now wait, Mrs. Frame. Zach, I appreciate you running interference for me, but let me talk to her. Maybe that way she'll leave us alone. Okay. Good luck. Hey, Zach, who is that? It's Charlene's niece. Not too friendly, is she? She's not a good candidate for Miss Manners, no. Cass seems really upset. Yeah, he is. I didn't like to see Charlene get hurt like that. Look, it's my responsibility to defend my client. No matter who it hurts? I know you've got me pegged for the villain here, but I'm not. Oh, no? Who was that who forced my aunt to say things up there that she obviously didn't want to say? I don't want to discuss this with you anymore. Oh, fine by me. But let me tell you something, Winkle. I can't wait. You were going to be so sorry you ever met him. Oh, believe me, I already am. Why, Charlene? Why? Why, Charlene? I'm sorry, Russ. How could you keep something like this from me? No, I didn't think you'd understand. Oh, I understand. I understand you slept with anybody. No, not anybody. Not anybody. 
Hocus, the ones with the lot of money, the handsome No, it wasn't like that. Do you have a good time? No! And did you marry me for money? Oh, I love you. I'm if you love you. me, then why weren't you honest with me? After all this time, I never knew, Charlie. I never knew what you did with other men for money. <gasps> you are a whore, Charlie. That's what you no. are. A you whore lied to me. and a liar. A you whore. lied to me. Why How could you do this? Why did you do this to me? How many were there, Charlie? How many men? a prostitute. He didn't know that it was going to turn out that way. All Charlie was trying to do was help John. Well, my main concern right now is the jury. Cass says the jury's going to have to seriously consider John as a suspect. Maybe. Or maybe they'll just turn against Cass. Because the way he treated John and Charlene. Could be. I don't know. It's Stacy. I'm here with Derek, and he's agreed to testify. Stacy, that's wonderful news. 
Derek has agreed to testify. He does have a condition. He wants to talk to you. Talk to me? I'm, I don't understand. And he only wants you and I in the room with him when he's there. Why? He doesn't want anyone else around. Otherwise, it's no deal. But, but just you... Uh... Listen, Mitch or Cass can be in the room next door. But he wants to see you alone. What's going on? Derek wants to... Talk with me, but just with Stacy in the room, no one else. No. Honey, this man's testimony could save my life. This is also somebody that's trying to scare you half to death. What sort of man is it? No. Felicia? Listen, it's his only condition. Do you agree? Felicia? Stacy, I'll meet with him. Felicia. When will you both be here? In what, about an hour? That'll be fine. Thanks, Felicia. Bye-bye. She's agreed. Just gonna be Felicia and me in the room with you. I'm telling you, meeting alone with him is not safe. Honey, you'll be right in the next room. And what if that's not enough? This is somebody that's tried to hurt you. No, he scared me, but he's never really hurt me. And he's had a chance to do that, and he just never did. I'm telling you, I don't like it. Honey, I need his testimony. I'd like to know what he's up to. Well, Stacy trusts him. But I don't. Darling, listen to me. What choice do we have? He can tell the jury what happened after I fainted that night. He took my gun. The gun that I had is not the gun that killed Jason, and he's the only one who can prove that. And how do you know what he's gonna say on stand? I mean, it's not like this guy's the most predictable person in the world. What do you mean? I mean, what if he's crazy? What if he's just, just some fan? Honey, he can tell the jury that, that when the police found me, I wasn't with the right gun. That would be helpful, wouldn't it? Yes. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna be in the other room. If anything happens, one sound, and I am in here, I am gonna be on top of him. Ooh. My hero. That's not funny. I love you. Just tell me, what? why does he want to be alone with you? Stacy wasn't clear about that. I wonder what he does want to talk to me about. <sighs> so it happened. Charlene has finally told the whole world what she's done. I wonder how John is handling it. And Josie was in the courtroom. No, no. Well, Charlene had been truthful with her daughter. She wouldn't have to face it a day. But how do you tell your daughter you were once in the gutter? Liz, stop it. What? But I don't want to hear another word about Charlene. Dustin, this isn't going to work out. Please don't give me a you'll never get away with this routine. Look, her father is well connected. Shut up, Bates. Shall we go? Where? The woods. Why should we make it so easy for you? It'll be a nice day for you two to be outside. Spring day, flowers, trees, birds. Start walking. another word about Charlene. No. No, of course not. Liz, why don't we rustle up some coffee for everyone? What? Coffee. Oh, uh, yes, of course. Are you all right? Yes, yes, I'm all right. Liz is tactless, but she doesn't mean to upset you. I know. I, I, sh I shouldn't have snapped at her. I'm not angry with her. Who are you angry at? Myself. Then Charlene. Why? All day in that courtroom, I've been thinking about all those years that we just threw away. 
Russ, that's over with now. It's in the past. You know the funny thing is, I still don't, I don't understand why. Why what? Why she did it in the first place or why she didn't tell you? Why she never told me. And she never would have if Willis hadn't. She lied to me all those years and then she just ran. Russ, you gotta just drop it. You see, something else I realized today, after all this time, I am still connected with Charlene. What are you talking about? Well, because I am still angry and I am still hurt. We never dealt with it. I mean, she just lied to me like that and then left. What I can't really figure out now is why the hell I still care. Well, I think that's a big subject, and I don't think you and I have the time right now to get involved with that. No, I'm sorry. I must have taken you out of your way. She certainly must have things to do. I with. do. I have a meeting across town that I can't miss. Well, I'm sorry. Here's the coffee, nice and hot. Black for you, Rachel. Uh, yeah. Liz, oh, oh sorry. dear. It's all right. I must. All right. No I problem. have to apologize to you, dear. I'm sorry I snapped at you like that. Oh, no. It's just... No, it, it, it's all right. Uh, we have to keep our heads. Excuse me. Hi, Aunt Liz. Mom? Max, she's gone. She never went home. Who? Josie. I've been looking for her all day. I'm afraid something has happened to her. Is there something you wanted? Maybe. You saw me and Winthrop going at it? Yes, I did. I certainly didn't mince worse. I'm gonna lay my cards on the table with you. Jason Frame was my uncle. He was murdered. I want to see justice done. So do we all. Are we having a conversation here, or am I going to talk to the top of your head? I'm sorry. Look, I've watched you, and you're sharp, but this Winthrop is a smooth operator. He might get this jury to buy his vision of the truth. I so. But, but my point is, I want to help. I'm a PI. I, I've worked on actual cases. Miss Frank. Oh, okay, there may not have been actual murder cases, but, but, uh, but this time we'll work for free. I think we have all the professional help that we need. Oh, don't give me that. Your office is swamped with cases. Odds are you didn't even do half your homework when it comes to witness checks, right? We did what we could. I need to help. Jason and Charlene are my family. All right. This is a list of the witnesses that Cass plans to call. Good. Let's start at the top. One by one. Hmm. Which brother? Mitch, this is Derek. Derek, Mitch. Derek? Is Felicia in the bedroom? Yeah, come on in. So, Derek, what is this meeting all about? I promised I wouldn't pry. Felicia agreed to this deal, Mitch. I'm gonna be in the next room. Don't try anything. Maybe we should get this whole thing going. I'll tell you here, I don't like it. I'm Felicia Gallant. You're Fanny. Uriah. I am, or at least I was a long time ago. You know, it's funny, when you change your name, you sort of assume that, that it's always been yours. 
I'm Derek. Yes, I know. Can I offer you anything? No, thanks. I want to thank you for agreeing to testify. Stacy said that you've been very helpful. I'd do anything to help you. Well, that's very nice. Thank you for that. I... It's not very often that someone shows that kind of interest. And especially when someone is in as much trouble as I am. So many things I really want to ask you. And... But I promised that I wouldn't. Although, I have wondered about you so often. I'm sorry, Derek. I'm sorry. I, I, it's just that you frightened me just a little. I, did you, did you want to meet me before you testified? Is, is that it? Or maybe there's something that you'd like to tell me. No. That means that, that you will testify tomorrow then. Uh, Mitch! Mitch, we're gonna leave now. So we'll see you when Derek testifies in court. Right. Uh, Derek, I'm so glad you came by. It was really very nice to meet you. Goodbye. Upset? I'm not. I, I, I'm a little shaken. I, I just seen him face to face. What did he want? I don't know. He didn't say. It's strange. Yeah. You know what's so odd? He seemed. Are you okay? What is it? Is something wrong? She didn't even remember me. Let's make a deal. You can kill me, you can do whatever you want, but let a man to go. Well, you don't want to kill your wife for the second time, do you? This isn't about Julia. You did kill her, didn't you? It was an accident. It wasn't supposed to happen. All I wanted was her love. Yeah, she pretended to care, but it was a lie. Look, the pain that you're feeling isn't going to go away by killing us, Chester. She was the most beautiful woman. I could have spent the rest of my life with her. It would have been so perfect. But she didn't love me the way I loved her. It all happened so fast. We were fighting. I, I hit her. Look, Dustin, let us go, please. For my baby's sake, please. Amanda, I'm sorry. You'd be so easy to love. Julia taught me that love doesn't exist. The only thing that's real and that lasts is money. to keep up on the day's events, then tonight join Demetria, Jeff, Bill, and Rudy. The Scene at 10. This is Kevin Caldy. Tonight at 10, watch the Mid-South's favorite, The Scene at 10, tonight on Channel 4.
loves a woman. You're my woman? And a woman loves a man. I am your woman? Nothing can keep them apart. You could take this ring and you can... But will this odd couple ever tie the knot? Yeah. Nah. Or will they just get tangled? I know that feeling. It's love and laughter this week on Santa Barbara. Here is important information for anyone considering a healthcare career.